So hey guys, welcome back once again to my video. Today I will be discussing with you one major mistake every new trader is consistently making. And if you control this mistake, you can be really successful in the long run. So let's get started. So welcome back. In this video, I will be discussing with you one small detail which is ignored a lot of time when you are starting off in trading. For example, in this chart, you can see a prevailing bull trend going on. We see a kind of triple top or a head and shoulders top forming. And a lot of traders will be looking for a shorting opportunity once this breaks the neckline. A lot of people are watching this neckline as to how the price reacts when it gets there. So we can draw a support level over here. So a support level has been drawn. One thing you need to be sure that this applies to every time frame. It applies to any commodity, index, stock, cryptocurrency. This concept applies to each and every market you are trading. So let's see what happens next. We see a decisive break of this neckline and most of traders are now excited. They are ready to short this market. And if you're starting off, it's common to get short at this level. Now, one major mistake and a fine detail many new traders miss is that they do not wait for the close of the candle. So by the time the candle closes, this happens. What was a decisive break of this neckline has now gone back into the zone and has trapped a lot of traders. See entering on the break of the neckline and shorting at that point of time is not wrong. But one thing can really make a difference in your trading is to wait for the close of the candle. Professional traders also enter on the break of the trend line, but when something like this happens, they are quick to realize that they are now in a wrong trade and they would be really fast to exit if things go wrong. So new traders who have shot it at this price, professionals who have shot it at this price, they are all now trapped. And the difference between professional and new traders is that professionals are quick to realize their mistake and they are ready to exit if things go wrong. But the new trader does not realize his mistake and he simply carries off a trade he was not supposed to carry. Smart traders put their stop loss right above the high of this candle. So if price trades above this, they would simply exit. And smart traders know what's happening. So if they are not yet a part of this trade, they would simply put buy orders above this price because they know stop loss of many traders who shorted at this price would now be getting out and it would act as a fuel for the prices to go higher. And this is what happens next. And this is one of the main reasons what drives the market. So the whole point of showing you this example is to wait for the candle to close. A candle might look really bullish or really bearish. A few seconds or few minutes before the close, things might change a lot. A bullish engulfing or a bearish engulfing might turn into a doji by the time the candle closes. So one thing that can really, really improve your trading is to wait for candle close. Wait for the candle to close, and then take your trading decisions. Doing this saves you from the trades you are not supposed to take. So I hope this video helps you in your trading. So I believe that improvising on this small thing can improve your trading to a great extent and can help you reduce your losses and increase your percentage win over time. So thank you guys. Take care. If you like my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notification every time I put a new video.